So now you love flying, you love adventures, you love freedom. Now you're designing for uh, others. You have designed over 33, you know, prototype flight vehicles, which is tremendous. Like, you know, wow, this one, you're for sure dedicated to do this. Tell us a, a little bit about how you take this mental model of being responsible, but still push the envelope into the design realm of flight vehicles. Just to be clear, I didn't design all 33 of those. I participated in all of those, like, and intimately in most cases, like I was a serious contributor. Yeah. So I think one of the things I enjoy about aircraft design, most of the stuff I've done has been rapid prototypes. So I've worked very little on production aircraft. It's all like record setting airplanes, one of the one offs. And so it's usually a very tight schedule. And it kind of, I think an analogy would be like maybe an art project for Burning Man, where you've got one year, you've decided to do something. Now you've got to complete it. You can't do it alone because it's a massive project, both technically and physically. So you've got to collaborate with a lot of people. You've got to communicate with those people. It requires uh, leadership that's inspiring, you know, to get people all running in the same direction, to align all those vectors of productivity. And then the payoff is like that first flight, which is very risky. And it's very transitory. You can't go back and redo the first flight. You only get one first flight. And there's a high risk there. And then hopefully you burn off that risk if it's successful with subsequent flights. But that's part of the big payoff is collaborating on something and then seeing it fly, which just seems like magic, right? It's defying gravity and doing unexpected things or performing in a way that's envelope pushing, right? Someone said, you can't go this fast with this kind of airplane, or you can't make an airplane that'll fly around the world nonstop on refuel. Well, I worked on a project that did that. So probably uh, one of the most personal aircraft projects was the White Knight, Virgin Galactic White Knight 2 and, and the spaceship program. We started that program in 2006. I was working for a small company called Scaled Composites. And we were contracted by Richard Branson to design, build, and flight test those vehicles. And that was inspired by a previous program we had done, which was Spaceship One which was the goal of that was to win the X prize, which was uh, to build a spaceship that could go into space, which is defined as 100 kilometers, 328,000 feet, and do it twice in two week time frames. So you had to, it had to be reusable. You had to turn it around, fly it again within two weeks, and it had to carry three people to space. And the inspiration was, it was started by a guy named Peter Diamandis, who's a remarkable human. Yeah. And yeah. so the X Prize was to motivate and spawn commercial space tourism. NASA is a remarkable technical organization, but they just don't inspire people. They, they take something that's really cool and make it super boring. The, going to the moon <laughs> should have been like the coolest thing ever, but it's kind of like, I don't know, they somehow... Ruined it, right? <laughs> Even for people like me who are passionate about oh aerospace, my God. they spoiled it somehow. They just made it dry and, and technical. <laughs> and you've got to be an uber nerd to really still like love what happened there. I mean, you can oh. appreciate it, but they took, I don't know, they somehow took the excitement out of it, right? And so, and then, and then they also, it kind of ended like people were like, well, what's the point of driving golf carts on the moon? There was, kind of the response. It seemed like a waste of money. We would rather spend money trying to find our oil under somebody else's sand and fighting wars over that. It's strange what we decide is important and what's not important. Mm -hmm. So yeah, especially once you leave the atmosphere, it's about exploration again. And the challenge is not everybody gets to go. There's a couple of explorers that get that privilege. And so it's hard to, when it's democratic nation that's publicly funding it, it's hard to keep that enthusiasm up. I think the older explorers were funded by 
kings who had unilateral control over how to spend that money. Mm. And there were probably a lot of profit motivations back then too. So that's where I guess commercial space tourism comes in is, is there a, can you, can you monetize it? Can you capitalize it? Can you mine asteroids? Can you build things in space? Can you harvest energy out there and bring it back? And that's something the commercial world's going to do, not government. Government's got the deep pockets to maybe do the initial exploration. But so the X Prize was a great opportunity to motivate people to get into that. And subsequently, everybody's doing it now, right? Blue Origin, SpaceX, et cetera. So that's great. That's become a hopefully a, a booming uh, industry that succeeds, that expands our world beyond just our atmosphere. Richard Branson was inspired by space, by the X Prize, and came to us and wanted us to basically scale that vehicle up quite a bit so that it could carry passengers. And I had the opportunity to lead the team and design the mothership and the whole spaceship mothership uh, configuration. And so we developed that very rapid paced, ambitious budget and schedule. <clears throat> and we built the mothership in two and a half years. And then the spaceship started flight testing about a year and a half later after that. So we had the mothership flying and then we were able to get the spaceship going and start doing glide flights and then powered rocket flights subsequently. And to, to spend, to work with friends and collaborate and work really hard on something, just 12 hour days, six days a week for a couple of years. And then to be able to be involved as a co-pilot in flight test on that vehicle was just a peak experience for me to realize that I'm flying in something that I designed. Mm. It's 